That's why you don't want to get right too quick. <laughs> oh, we're idiots. What? Take this off the table so we can cut that question. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we're going to see how we fare with Google's interview questions. Ooh. I got our producer Andy to scour the internet for some of the hardest interview questions. Oh no. Silicon Valley has to offer. Okay. And we're going to see how we fare. Okay. Because at some point, when this ship sinks, yeah. you know, <laughs> wow. we're going to have to move on. Plan B. Plan B, exactly. First question. Google, you are shrunk to the height of a penny and okay. your mass is proportionately reduced to maintain your original destiny. Density. Oh. <laughs> destiny! I was like, what am I reading? You are then thrown into an empty glass blender. Oh. The blades will start moving in 60 seconds. What do you do? You know what I would do? Yeah. Is hop on one of the blades. I was just thinking that. You Go use on. it to flipping fling yourself out of the blender. Also, <laughs> that sounds like a terrible but that idea. That size yeah. of the blades that sharp. Let's be honest, most of the things you put in a blender are about penny size. Yeah. So they, get they, they don't stand a chance. They definitely get shredded. <laughs> if you're the height of a penny, you just lie down. <laughs> Underneath the blades. <gasps> you got it. Job done. Yes. <laughs> That's got to be the answer. This one is about juggling interviews creativity. We tried to break the electric motor. How are you going to break the electric motor? You're the size of a penny and you're in the blender bit. You're not in the electric bit. Lie Just down. lie down. Slip there. right underneath yeah. the blender. Okay, next up, Microsoft. Microsoft, all right, I like this. You have six glasses arranged in a row. Yeah. The first three glasses are empty, while the next three glasses <clears throat> are full of juice. Arrange these glasses such that the empty glasses alternate with the full glasses. You are only allowed to move one glass. Obviously, if you could just switch these, that would work, but you can only move one. Eureka. What? What do you mean, <laughs> Eureka? <laughs> Oh, okay. <gasps> Very good. Yes. Very good. Just hey, a shame well it was from Microsoft. One. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this from Google. How many times a day do a clock's hands overlap? Oh. Count for like me. So it starts overlapped. So that's one. That's one. So that's two. <laughs> three. This is agony. Six, eleven, ooh, ooh, ooh. It yeah. doesn't, it doesn't. Well, it looks like it does. No, because then it's the next day, 23 times. <laughs> it's not that, is it? Damn it! 24. 22? <laughs> what? But why? That first one doesn't count. What do you mean Why it doesn't not? count? Of course it does count. No, you can't just no, say, oh, that doesn't really count. Well. Next up. A man died and went yeah. to heaven. Everyone was naked okay. and looked as they did at the age of 21. He saw a couple and he knew immediately they were Adam and Eve. How did he recognize them? No belly buttons. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No belly buttons. Nice. Knew it. That's why you don't want to get right too quickly. <laughs> Google. Google. How many golf balls can fit in a school bus? Journey, have you got a golf ball? To do the maths, oh. you actually need to know how big a golf ball is. Wait, I've got this. Six I've got this. I nailed this. Stand up. One, two, three. We're going to be here all day. Oh Five, my gosh. 13, 14, 15. I don't 16, really understand how this is helping. 26, 27. 28, 29, 30. <laughs> You're 30 oh, golf balls tall. End, okay, golf. how tall are you in centimeters? Uh, 183, 184. What's, what's 183, 184 divided by 30? 6.12. <laughs> okay. So that is 6112 centimeters. That does not look right. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe I've done the maths wrong. <laughs> For that. You weren't exactly helping. Let's make a guess. The closest answer gets into Google. <laughs> okay, okay. 300,000. <laughs> this is literally, it's literally like, lots of, it's like lottery numbers. Uh, big yeah. number out of thin air. 300,001. <laughs> Damn it, it's bloody 500,000. <laughs> I'm absolutely so livid. The thing is, 
so dumb. It feels ironic. These are the questions I would ask Google. You want to Google normally. But they have to find the answer somewhere. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's their employees. Yeah. It's their employees. Exactly. They that's, why that's why so they're asking. That's why they're asking. So they go on, so like, you ask. Wow. Thank you, Jared, for that answer. I'll yeah. just put that into Google. Yeah. Okay. All right. The next one's from Facebook. You're at a party, and there are 23 people, including you and a friend. Okay. Your friend proposes a wager where you get $10 for every person in the party who shares their birthday with you, while he gets one dollar for every person oh who has a different birthday from you. Would you take up the wager? Oh, this is a classic maths question where they just try and confuse you with the wording. I reckon it's gonna be counterintuitive. I've got no idea why. I would take the $10 for every person who shares their birthday with you. For it to be a good wager, you'd need three people <laughs> who share their birthday with you. I believe. Within 25. I've already gone with my guy. I would not take that wager. No. <laughs> you have a piece of paper that's one millimeter thick. Wow, that's very, okay. Is How many normal? times would you need to fold the piece of paper in half for it to be high enough to reach Blood. to the moon? Hell. Okay. The moon? Well, obviously <laughs> you can't fold a piece of paper times, enough think. times for it to reach the moon. I don't think it's that. I think they actually want to know. All right, how long does it take for astronauts to get to the moon? Isn't it like three days to get to the moon? Never been. <laughs> Never been. <laughs> Never been. <laughs> I think they're literally just trying to see how you deal with a problem that you don't know the answer to. I would say the answer is the number of millimeters to the moon. Yeah. Minus one. I would definitely say it's impossible to get a piece of paper big enough to fold that many times. You just not be like, possible. I reject Physi the question because oh, I take everything it's literally. It's and that's, not that's possible. the kind of person I am. <laughs> All right, let's see the answer. 42. What? Folding a one millimeter thick piece of paper in half 42 times would make the paper four million kilometers in height, which is more than the distance from the Earth to the moon. But the world record for folding paper in half is 12 folds. I was right. It's physically impossible. That's what they're saying. I, I mean, that doesn't strike me as very smart. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I just take it as a given, it's not possible. Yeah. This from Google. Yeah. If you have seven white socks and nine black socks in the drawer, yeah. how many socks do you have to pull out blindly in order to ensure you have a matching pair? If you have seven white socks and so nine black socks. So the chance of getting a white sock are seven in 16. And the chance of getting a black sock are nine in 16. Mm -hmm. I feel like we need to think more laterally, oh, man. You're blind. You can't see them. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is you can't be just lateral. You have to think as well. Seven white socks and nine black socks. Okay, okay. all right. Right. Oh, we're idiots. <laughs> we're really, we're really stupid. What? You only need to pull out three socks to ensure you have a matching pair. Why? Oh wow. <laughs> Literally you pull out one, two, three. Let's take this off the table so we can cut that question. <laughs> <laughs> Personal questions. If you were to write an autobiography, okay. what would it be titled? I think we all know yeah. my answer to that question. Once Upon a Time in Carrot Land, my YouTube autobiography, which I definitely wrote all of by Josh Carrot. Yeah. Available now yeah. on Amazon yeah. worldwide. How about you, Josh? Uh, if you were to write an autobiography, what would it be titled? Definitely not that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up. <laughs> if I open your browser history, what will I learn Ooh. about your personality? Oh, wow. Okay. I can tell you instantly what you'll learn about mine. You're into tennis. Yeah, I have an obsession with tennis. Yeah, right now. I know that you are so into tennis that all of my personalized ads are about <laughs> tennis. <laughs> no, they're not. Seriously. Are you Seriously? serious? All of them. It's literally like, do you need a 15th racket? No, that's not. I had yeah. a dream that you and I were in a sports shop and you were like wanting to buy some new tennis balls. And you're like, look, it's like 200 PSI. And then you find another one, what? and they're like, oh, these, yeah. these ones are 500 PSI. <laughs> and I'm like, who cares? Tennis yeah. ball, right? And then the owner of the shop is like, sir, balls. come behind the counter. Okay. And he's like, these ones. I'm not supposed to show you these. Okay. 2,000. <laughs> I should say, if you check my browsing history. Yeah. Yours. My gosh, the spending. Oh, oh no. For this yeah. season of Jolly. <laughs> Last up, would you rather fight one horse sized duck or a hundred duck sized oh, horses? Wow. What's Isn't the kind it? of thing Joel literally calls yeah. me up <laughs> at like 3 a.m.? You know, I think I'd just go for the horse sized duck. <laughs> 
Have you seen how big horses are? Yeah, I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> You've ridden a horse. Yeah, I have ridden a horse. Ducks, though. Fell off a horse. Ducks are men. Got knocked out and woke up. Why is this not surprising? In a shower in a random man's house. That is for another episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Oh, it's happened? over. Oh. <laughs> You want to say in the meantime? Well, have you got any questions? That's normally what you ask at the end of a job interview. <laughs> I must say, my confidence is shaken. Let us know in the comments how you fared. I want to know if you guys come up with anything creative as well. Maybe we'll learn something and Maybe. then we'll all end up working for Google. Oh my in the gosh. End. Why do I feel like we already are? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> we'll see you, Jolly. See you guys. See you later. Bye.